National unity is the Taliban's theme for their Loya Jirga. 3,000 participants from all over the country meeting behind closed doors. Not one woman amongst them. Alarm worldwide about the exclusion of women from public life is increasing and girls banned from school before they even reach their teens. The girls issue is a challenge and needs to be solved by the government and the government has the responsibility to listen to the people's demands. But since the chaos of the Taliban seizing power last August, its public face is seen by the West as differing to reality. This is its supreme leader, not a new face. The reclusive Haibatullah Akhundzada has been in position since 2016. He's reported to have ordered the schooling ban himself. He talked of Afghanistan's pride at the Taliban victory and accused the US of using conspiracy and propaganda after that defeat. On the streets of Kabul, education for girls is a major issue. The Islamic Emirate should try to open the girls' schools so that the level of education for both men and women should improve like we want female doctors, teachers and nurses. In Switzerland, the UN's human rights chief appealed to the Taliban to respect the rights of women and girls. Secondary schooling for 1.2 million girls discontinued. These are only some of the daily experiences of women and girls in Afghanistan. Since the Taliban took power, women and girls are experiencing the most significant and rapid rollback in enjoyment of their rights across the board in decades. And in Kabul, there's anxiety about the effects of banning access to education. Since there is a ban on girls' school, um, since last year, their mental situation is not normal. They're at home staring at the walls. They cannot do anything. Most of the girls have goals, dreams, ambitions, uh, but they cannot do anything about it. Beyond the education issue, the US and most of the international community have shunned the Taliban government at a time when the humanitarian crisis is at its height and the needs of millions of hungry people has never been greater. All this and the struggle that's still going on to deal with the earthquake disaster in Paktika province. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera.